Hey guys, well welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at how to do uh, this pretty cool looking image with inside of a text um, effect in Photoshop. So here's kind of an example of one that I uh, just made. And so I'm going to show you how I made this, um, this image. If you noticed on the quest page there is a link to a site called unsplash.com. It's a pretty great site. It has lots of high quality pictures that are free to use and that are free for uh, people to um, download and use for whatever purpose. So um, I really like this site. It uh, provides nice looking pictures. Again, free to use, not copyrighted. So I went ahead and I found this picture of the ocean. Clicked on it. You can hit download um, and do a two finger click. Hit save image as. We're going to call it Ocean, which I did previously already. So typically, though, you would save it and make sure that you know where it goes. We're going to go back to Photoshop then, and we're going to go ahead and close this one first, actually. And we're going to open up, again, by going File, Open. And we're going to choose our picture of the ocean. And there we go. There's our picture of the ocean. So the first thing we want to do, we want to come over and make a duplicate layer. This often is going to be one of the first steps that you do, is make a duplicate layer of your picture. And just a lot of uh, um, different um, techniques and effects, it's usually the first thing. We want to make sure we always kind of have a, uh, a layer that's our normal background, the picture that we started with, just in case, so we can always get back to that if we need to. From here then, once we've got our background copy, and you'll see we've got this new layer over here. We're going to come down here and we're going to click on this button. So it's kind of like circle, maybe half circle. It's called the new fill or adjustment layer. So we're going to click on that and we're going to hit solid color. From here we actually want to choose a white solid color. So we'll go ahead and choose that white, hit OK. And then you see it kind of changed and made it all just white. Obviously, that's not what we're looking for. So we want to take this layer that we now have. It's called a color fill one layer. And we want to drop it underneath that layer. What's going to happen then, this is going to be kind of our, um, our background layer that's going to show through. We chose white initially because that's um, going to be the layer that the color that we're going to see on the edges of our picture. Once we've got that done and we've dropped it back down, we're going to go ahead and click back on our top layer now, um, the background copy. We should see our picture of our, um, of our ocean there. And we're going to come over and click on our text button. From here now, we can come over and we can choose uh, some text to type in. Um, initially, I, mine was red. It can be red or you can choose any other color. You may want to just make it black or whatever the case may be so you can see it. Once it's in place, you may want to center it um, so that you can kind of have know where it's going to fit best. You could also come up um, if you want to make it bigger. You have a couple options for that. You can highlight it and you can change your text up here. You can also change your font. So if you don't necessarily want to use this font, you can change your font or your style to it, whatever the case may be. Um, in this case, so I'm going to select it. I have that layer selected. In this case, I'm going to hit Command-T, and that's going to give me the uh, free transform options. And I'm going to actually just kind of pull it up and kind of make it fill this section this way. That'll make it a little bit easier to work with. Once I'm done, I've got it um, so that it's basically filling the space as much as I want. I'm going to hit the check mark. So now I've got my ocean. I've got the background copy here. Again, though, what I want to do, I want to put this ocean layer underneath the background copy. Initially, it's going to make it so that it disappears. And we're not going to be able to see our text. But that's fine. That's what we want it to do. Click back on the top layer again, now the background copy. And over here, there's this little, it looks like maybe three lines with a drop down arrow. I'm going to click on that button and I'm going to hit Create Clipping Mask. 
I'm going to do that. It's going to clip out everything except for where that um, text was over top of my um, of my picture. Everything else got clipped out, and it now leaves this white background, which is what we set here with this color fill. From here, I can still move if I move. Um, oops, I'm on my on this one. I can move that around, or if I click on the text, I can move my text around, and I can kind of get a different view of the um, of the ocean there. Um, and I can move the background around actually as well. You can see that is moving, and I can find kind of a cooler look to it. Maybe there's a nice wave or something that I want to use. Okay. So you can kind of move, you still move things around and kind of set it so that you get the look that you're looking for. From here though, we still have some other options that we can do with it. If I click back on my text layer and I do a double click on it, I can choose a stroke. And what this is going to do is going to, uh, it's going to make it so that I can change the color, you know, so maybe I want to put this blue um, outline around my text so you can choose a color and you can choose the size of the uh, the outline so I can make it very thick which is going to just fill the whole thing in or skinny uh, which will make it so not so much right so I'm going to just kind of like kind of like that six pixel um, outline to it hit OK I can also I can put in um, a drop shadow. See, it kind of puts this shadow effect on there. Hit OK, and there we go. It looks pretty good. If you wanted to, you could change the background by double clicking on this white uh, fill layer that we put here, and I could make it, you know, black. And that gives it kind of a cool effect. It takes out my shadowing effect, but it makes it kind of look pretty cool as well. Um, so I could do that. I could leave it. At, white, whatever the case may be, whatever I want to do with that. And then if I kind of changed it around, I can actually, I can still crop it, oops. I can still crop it. And I can kind of bring this in and make it nice and tight if that's what I am looking for. Hit the check mark at the top. And there we go, and makes it nice and clean, gives it kind of a clean look to it. Okay, very good. So uh, um, you guys can go ahead and try that, see if you can make that. Um, once you're done, hit Save As, change your format to a JPEG, and that'll save it as a picture. If you want to still work on it, make sure you leave it as a Photoshop, but once you're done, save it as a JPEG, and then you can post it onto our class page. Right, good luck with that, guys.